It's October 26, 2012, uh, Harbor and Broadway. We're on our way to meet up with the people protesting in front of the Orange County uh, District Attorney's Office. And just before the bus arrives, there's a drive-by by a presumably an Anaheim police uh, vehicle. And I've told you this uh, stunt before where within a minute or so, or right as my bus is arriving, a cop car appears. So there goes the cop car, and then we'll just play this so you can kind of get a gist of the of the maneuver. Uh, we kind of just stand here, uh, waiting for the bus to arrive. And we'll just play it, play it out. <laughs> anyway, while we're waiting for the bus to arrive within a minute, uh, we're on our way to the district attorney's office to support the morning. Uh, moms uh, and relatives that, that had lo uh, lost loved ones uh, to the Anaheim uh, Police Department and so here we go in a little bit you'll see this uh, bus appear and there it goes so within a minute or so uh, the bus appears and uh, we hop on it uh, Essentially, this was a favorite stunt when I would wait for my wife at uh, Euclid and Chapman at night. Favorite stunt of the Garden Grove Police Department, etc. And so here we are, hopping on. So, so we uh, attend the uh, protest. I'm there in support of the moms, and also to be a presence make sure that this police force in Orange County doesn't do anything to mess with these ladies when they're expressing their grievance either at a district attorney's office or any of these uh, police headquarters and I had the pleasure of having lunch with uh, Genevieve Wiesa and uh, Teresa Smith two of the moms that have lost uh, their sons to the Anaheim Police Department and like I said in my twi Twitter account, anyone that would uh, say anything mean-spirited about these mothers is a piece of human debris in my book. And returning home, uh, I arrive at the corner of Harbor and Westminster to 18 p.m. and catch that uh, dog there tied up to the shopping cart. So I arrive, I see, and notice this dog tied to a shopping cart, and then sure enough I turn around and there's a Santa Ana police officer. This is 2.18 p.m. by the way. Santa Ana police officer, and I think that's a green Toyota Camry right there as well. So dog tied to the shopping cart, Santa Ana cop, green Toyota Camry. 2.18 p.m. on Harbor and Westminster returning from the uh, protest and after having lunch with the moms so we'll just kinda hang out here there's also a Toyota Camry in front of him but whatever I believe and uh okay so he rolls off so i arrive see the dog see the cop see the green camry and i hope this uh pet was uh picked up afterwards and that he's in a safe place and not with uh, some sociopath okay so i arrive at the corner of harbor and broadway approximately uh 2 50 p.m i decide to walk over to the uh library and uh, bingo, uh, Anaheim uh, police vehicle. And you know, the headquarters is down the street, so I can't really uh, think much of it. Uh, but here we are coming uh, back after the protest in front of the district attorney and court there, and having had lunch with the uh, morning uh, moms. And uh, we have this uh, NY police uh, vehicle. At least he uh, didn't cut in front of me and 
as I was crossing the street. So, again, on our way to uh, the Anaheim uh, Library. A nice vehicle over there with no license plate. Anyway, and then coming back uh, out of the uh, library, it's approximately 5 p.m. I stand there for about 15 seconds and then I continue to walk and uh, bingo, green Toyota Camry uh, there at the corner. Uh, so how many times has this happened so far just in the last uh, month? You know, where uh, you get a cop and green Camry combo at the corner of uh, Harbor and Broadway as I'm heading to the library or returning from the library. You know, continuing with our theme of uh, people not liking uh, when you're reading or something. I think I call it a love story at this point. And here I am crossing the corner and there goes my friend. Goodbye, friend. And uh, we continue on. Later that uh, evening, my wife and I uh, hopped over to the city shopping center. Uh, the uh, mall security uh, uh, behaved themselves, apparently, uh, that evening. But at around 10, 10 or 1 p.m., there were some uh, police or fire lights uh, near the Krispy Kreme uh, donut place. Uh, I had had a couple of donuts there uh, three days prior while I was waiting for my uh, appointment nearby. Got the uh, donuts and then walked over to the corner bakery. And also, uh, I believe it was an orange uh, police department vehicle that uh, drove by in front of the uh, Saks. Fifth Avenue uh, department store. This is the police department, I believe, that impounded my silver Toyota Corolla on Cinco de Mayo 2009. No photos or videos of that, so cross track. So on the day of the many protests in front of the Orange County District Attorney's Office, and then after having uh, lunch with the moms that had uh, lost loved ones to the Anaheim Police Department. We have Anaheim Police, Harbor and Broadway. A minute before my bus arrives, a stunt I've talked about in the past. Uh, Harbor and Westminster, dog and shopping cart, turn around, Santa Ana Police vehicle with a green Toyota Camry, returning home, heading to the library again, cop car, leaving the library, green Toyota Camry. Oh, and uh, three days later, uh, October 29th, 12, 13 p.m., fire truck as I approach Carl's Jr. for lunch, Harbor and Broadway, and as I leave, uh, this vehicle up ahead there, dark vehicle, was a green uh, Toyota Camry, uh, white uh, male driver, uh, who was barreling down uh, Harbor Boulevard and made a right turn right there in the corner in front of me and onto Broadway. Caught me off guard, but uh, we can cross check that. And that would have been at 12.41 p.m. So fire truck towards the Carl's Jr. and uh, green Toyota Camry exiting the Carl's Jr. Again, on that same uh, corner of Harbor and Broadway, near the Anaheim Library. But you know, maybe it's just all just coincidence. As I randomly go about my business, with the expectation of being safe and secure in my person and property. <laughs> 